Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to continue our theme of looking at the temperature and humidity displays with the smart temperature and humidity sensor display from Miros, known as the MS-130H. This is a stylish, super accurate temperature and humidity LCD display that on the surface seems to follow the same recipe as the others. But the MS-130H has some interesting aspects that the others in this segment don't have. So let's dive on in and see what they are. Inside the box, you get two main components of the MS-130H itself, which is 90 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters tall, and 42 millimeters deep. So light and small enough to fit anywhere, yet heavy enough to feel substantial and well-engineered. The MS-130H has a large 9.4 centimeter LCD display with backlight. The display is clear and has a viewing angle of 170 degrees. It shows light levels with a numeric from 1 to 18, which equates to 0 to 8,000 lux. Plus, of course, it has the humidity and the temperature. Above this is a large matrix clock, which is super clear, while above this is the date field. You also have a smiling face that represents the temperature and humidity combination if it's agreeable. Off to the right is a battery level indicator with a signal strength or pairing icon to round off the displayed icons. The unit has a kickstand to the rear, which has a ridiculous degree of recline, which I assume is for people that are very laid back, but is also adjustable to a more sensible angle. Underneath the kickstand is the battery cover, which when exposed reveals four AA batteries. Then comes the first of the star attraction differentiators. The display has two buttons, which can be associated with mirror scenes, such as turning on the lights or sockets. However, as yet, these are not exposed to matter or to home assistance, so you won't be able to map automations just yet. Fingers crossed this comes as a firmware update later on. The second major component within the box initially was a little confusing. It's what seems to be a bridge or a hub. Yes, I can hear you all shouting, but Paul, we want to move away from bridges and have everything running on Zigbee, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And yes, you are right. But this bridge has a superpower. More on that later. The hub is USB-C powered and has a LAN cable and a multifunction button. It's 76 mm square, 26 mm tall and weighs in at a respectable 240 grams. So although weighing next to nothing, it actually feels robust and tactile. Then you get the usual one amp wall adapter, USB-A to USB-C 30 centimeter cable, a one meter LAN cable and various quick start guides and user manuals. The MS-130H has some pretty impressive features for what could be just another clone device, but it is so much more. First off is the accuracy. The MS-130H boasts a Swiss-made built-in sensor, which has a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 degrees and 2% humidity. The star of the show for the MS-130H is the display, which is 9.4 centimeters corner to corner and displays temperature, relative humidity, battery power indicator, rain gear icon, the date, and last but not least, a huge digital clock in 12 or 24 hour format. The display is backlit and is activated by vibration. And it's all housed in a V0 flame retardant material case. The unit comes with four AA batteries that provide up to three years of continual use. But it should be noted that it doesn't come with a USB plug to allow for continual power use like some other units do. The two buttons on top can be mapped to Miros scenes, but if you're investing in the Miros ecosystem, this is a great feature. The screen is backlit and will illuminate through vibration, so a gentle tap on or around the device is all that's needed to illuminate it. Then we come to the hub. It's a matter compatible bridge that links the MS-130H to the Miros ecosystem, and hence through matter into other ecosystems such as Home Assistant and it does this through a proprietary radio frequency of 433 MHz. And since we all know that the lower the frequency, the greater the range, this means that the MS-130 can communicate at distance up to 100 meters, which in my test was about twice that of any other temperature and humidity display on the market. You can also use the same hub with other Miros devices, such as door sensors, thermostats, and smoke alarms. 
and you get the hub and the smart temperature and humidity sensor with the Miros Bridge for $40.99, minus 10% by using the code SMARTHOMEAU10. Link in the description or on top of the screen. Installation, at least for me, was not as simple as I would have liked. Your mileage might vary. First, I had to install the hub to my Apple HomeKit, then link the MS130H to the hub. I'll assume that you already have Apple HomeKit working with an Apple Hub or Apple TV. I'll be using an Apple iPhone to add the device. Make sure that you are connected to the same network and the iPhone is using the 2.4 GHz frequency. Open Apple HomeKit. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Select Add Accessory. Scan the QR code on the side of the MS450H. Press Add to Home. The HomeKit will connect. You'll be asked if you wish to add the bridge automatically. Press OK. Select a location for your bridge and press Continue. Give your hub a name and press Continue. And finish up by pressing Done. Now hubs and bridges don't show up on the home screen. To make sure that it is added successfully, press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Select Home Settings. Search for Home Hub and Bridges and select. Here you will see your home hub connected. Now let's add the MS130H. I'll assume that you have the Miros application loaded and have created an account. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Your hub will automatically show up as long as you're on the same network and connected via the 2.4 GHz network. Press add. The hub will start the connection process and warn you that it might take up to one minute to come online. Press OK. Once the process completes, the hub will still not show up. Swipe down to refresh the screen and to show the hub. Now let's add the MS130H. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Scroll down and select Smart Sensor and Alarm. Now select MS130. You also need to select the MSH450 that you are pairing through. Now we won't need to add the MSH450 again. Select I have installed my Smart Home Hub already. Now put your hub into pairing mode by pressing the pairing button on the rear twice. The LED will flash. Now press Next. Now let's put the MS130H into pairing mode. Press and hold both buttons on the top of the MS130H for five seconds and until they see the signal icon flashes. Now press next. The pairing process can take a few minutes, so be patient. Name your MS130H and optionally give it an area and press next. Now just press finish and you're done. Now let's see what values are exposed in the Miros application. Open your Miros application on your phone. A really nice touch here is that the temperature and humidity are shown on the dashboard on the tile, so you don't have to drill into the device. Once in the device, you can assign those action buttons straight from the top of the application. Remember that these are Miros scene only, at least for the moment. Then you get the temperature to one decimal place with a range from minus 40 to plus 60 degrees, which is one of the best ranges of any temperature sensor, let alone with a display. You get a presentation as to where in the range the temperature is and the trending. Then you get a relative humidity to one decimal place with a range from zero to 100 degrees with the same presentation style and trending. The illumination from zero to 8,000, absolute humidity from zero grams per meter cubed all the way up to 100 grams per meter cubed along with the dew point temperature, vapor pressure deficit, and illumination levels, which is the represented between one and 18 that shows on the screen. So the MS130H is not lacking in data that you can analyze. Now I won't go into the detailed testing for the MS130H, but needless to say that the temperature and humidity levels were bang on in the middle of the road against all of my temperature devices. So I trust that they are accurate as reported. Let me know your experiences in the comments below. Also, I won't go into the whole linking Miros application to Home Assistant, as I've done this many times before. Check out the links in the description below. So there is a lot to like about the MS130H, but likewise, some interesting choices by Miros. I love the fact that this device ships with its own matter hub, and that the range of the proprietary frequency gives you the best in class. The display is huge and easy to read. The accuracy is top notch and the reporting frequency is one of the best I've seen. However, in a time where most of us are trying to move away from hubs and standardize our ecosystems, having a proprietary hub might not be the best choice. 
Also, the fact that you can't map those buttons, at least not yet, is a damn shame. Please, Miros, open these up for us all to use in other ecosystems such as Home Assistant. So what it comes down to is if you're invested in the Miros ecosystem, this is a killer product. Or if you need to extend your range, it might also meet your needs. But for me, I'll be sticking with my Zigbee devices, but the choice is yours. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if you want to join other like-minded people, then why not join the Discord channel where smart home enthusiasts meet to solve each other's issues. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.